Y'all already know what time it is. It is time for the mess. business y'all this be your boy scott about nature tv and we're here for another episode of yes for the mess and we are here to talk about ti and sabrina peterson now as you guys already know in my very first video um but at this point it's the morning time my very first video this morning i talked about the situation with the baby and his homophobic hiv rant and how T.I. backed him up on said HIV rant. Now, being that he backed him up, a lot of people have had a lot to say about him backing him up. I know that Amber Rose put him on blast. And now, the person that he's fighting, fighting in court, Sabrina Peterson, has came out to blast T.I. for his comments and him supporting the baby with his BS. Now, before we get into any of that, um, I just want to say this. T.I., you should have just sat there and ate your food. You're always speaking on stuff that ain't got nothing to do with you. You always saying something that ain't got nothing to do with you. You look like you're a cracked out dope fiend and then you look like you're stressed out because of this goddamn case. You need to be focused on you, your, your wife, the people that you supposedly victimized and your damn kids and what the fuck they gonna do when y'all go to jail, okay? That's what you need to be focused on instead of focused on what the fuck the baby put himself in because the baby had no reason to say the shit that he fucking said just like you don't have no reason to be defending the bullshit that he fucking said okay so you just need to focus on your bullshit instead of trying to be super saving nigga for somebody else that's all I'm however when it comes down to the situation with Sabrina Peterson calling T.I. out for him co-signing the baby in his HIV and homophobic remarks um, I have an article here um, talking about it from hotnewhiphop.com I'm gonna read you guys the article and of course give my opinion and allow you guys to give your opinions down below in the description not description box, the comment section, okay? So let's get into the article, y'all. The public has called out the baby for making homophobic remarks during his performance. Their legal issues haven't kept Sabrina Peterson for indirectly, uh, indirectly addressing a recent controversy involving T.I. Rolling Loud Miami went on without a hitch, aside from half of the stage, half a stage collapsing just the day before it began. But the most talked about moments in recent conversations are centered around the baby. The North Carolina bread rapper stole attention with viral moments, including having Tory Lanez as a surprise guest. But it was his remarks about STDs and homosexuality that caused him to face backlash. If you didn't show up today with HIV, AIDS, or any of them deadly sexually transmitted diseases that would make you die two, in two to three weeks, then put your cell phone lighter up. I got to say this because I didn't say it in my video. You sitting up here talking about sexually transmitted diseases would kill you in two to three weeks. What about COVID-19 and how that kills you within two to three weeks or two to three days and you did a whole damn performance that's a, at a super spreader event and a whole pandemic? Shut up! The baby said while on stage, ladies, if, you, if your coochie smell like water, put your cell phone light in the air. Fellas, if you ain't sucking dick in the parking lot, put your cell phone light in the air. The rapper quickly faced backlash, but soon he received support from T.I., who threw Lil Nas X's name into the discussion. If Lil Nas can kick his shit in peace, so shit the baby. Shrugging emoji, hashtag equality, said the Atlanta icon before he released the video explaining his remarks. Amber Rose stepped forward to call out homophobia and Peterson interject with her take as well. More black women are catching HIV from black men that can't control their flesh, she wrote. More than gay men. Actually, the safest bet for a black woman these days may be with a woman. In the caption, Peterson added, I said what I said. The baby attempted to clarify his rolling loud comments by saying that people took his words out of context, but that just further fueled the fire. Check out a few posts from T.I. and Sabrina Peterson below. I remember I was dumb enough to think that HIV only came from gay men or down low, etc. HIV comes from fluid transmission from an infected person. There are many ways to get it. Propaganda kills the crowd. If you think being exempt from being gay or being with a DL man makes you exempt, then that's the joke is on you. I was dumb enough to believe the hype until I buried a loved one that didn't meet the criteria you ignorant people are speaking of. I also used to be dumb enough 
enough to think that being gay means going to hell until I really woke the fuck up. When you know better, you do better. Don't argue with me. Argue with CDC. This is the most recent stats on their site to my heterosexual black women. When I speak, I speak ish that I know. And that was the article from HotNewHipHop.com with, with Sabrina Peterson calling out T.I. Now here is what I think about that. Let me tell y'all something. Sabrina Peterson didn't say nothing wrong in that damn article. She didn't say shit wrong. Now I know that a lot of us are be looking at her sideways for her past and some of the shit that she pulls. But she didn't say nothing wrong in this situation. Like, people always want to use HIV as the gay man disease. It's always been a gay man's disease, gay man's disease, gay man's disease. And don't even realize that a lot of women are catching HIV from these promiscuous ass black men, okay? Like, let's just keep it 100. And when I say, let me, let me, re, let me, re, let me re say that, um, black women, not just women, black women are catching HIV and AIDS from these promiscuous ass black men who can't seem to keep their dick to themselves, okay? That's where they're catching it from. It ain't just because of black men, gay black men. And then on top of that, it ain't just from gay men and all of this other stuff. You can get it from intravenous drug use from and sharing needles and all that other stuff. Like, people are really ignorant when it comes down to this topic and they're really ridiculous. Both the baby and T.I. is fucking ignorant. T.I. always show his ignorance. He always trying to say a big ass word, but then look big ass ignorant every time he tries to. I just wish that T.I. would just shut what we call the fuck up. He has enough going on. But you need need to be focused on is you looking like Bill Cosby Jr. That's what the fuck you need to be worried about, okay? Straight up. You and your wife. You sitting up here speaking on matters that ain't got nothing to do with you when well, you should be sitting in the background being the fuck quiet because all eyes are on you and your fucking wife for your bullshit, okay? That's what I'm saying. Focus on that. Focus on your kids. And allegedly, what I keep hearing is that your son gay. That's what I heard. Now, I ain't saying that it's true. I ain't saying that it's in the Bible. But I'm just saying that's what the word is in the street. Because I read somewhere when I was reading these damn comments and reading these tweets and shit that people were saying that one of your damn kids is gay. And I and when I was watching your damn family hustle show, I damn sure believe one of their asses was gay. Not the younger sons, but the older ones. Like, straight up. T.I. just need to shut the fuck up. Stop comparing... Apples to fucking oranges. What Lil Nas is doing with his sexuality ain't got a goddamn thing to do with what the baby is talking about. No one gives a fuck about what the baby got to say about nobody being gay. Nobody. Ha Why the fuck y'all worried about who the fuck I'm fucking and what dick I'm riding and what ass I'm eating? What the fuck do you care about it for? That's all I'm trying to understand. Why y'all straight ass men always got something to say about us and what the fuck we doing? Y'all come for us unprovoked all the goddamn time and then when we read the fuck out of you motherfuckers then you ain't got shit to say about it. Like, just shut the fuck up. T.I., shut the fuck up. You got enough going on. Just shut up. Mind your own fucking business, okay? Mind your own business. Because you need to be focusing on your own damn kids and worry about how the fuck they gonna turn out because of the parents that they got. Worry about that. I'm glad Sabrina called your ass out. I'm sick of her speaking on everything that's, that's involving you, but I'm glad she called your ass out because you need to be called out. Shut the fuck up. You didn't even have to speak on this. Let the baby take that shit the way he needs to, okay? Shut the fuck up. And how the fuck would the baby know about somebody sucking dick in the parking lot unless he got his dick sucked by a man in the parking lot? That's normally how it happens with Trey. Okay? And a lot of y'all supporting this shit, too. I be seeing in the shade room is probably one of the worst places to be at because the comment section is fucking corrupted. Y'all, y'all be showing y'all true colors in them comments. Trust me, I be seeing y'all. But however, it is what it is. But with that being said, y'all, that's all I got for this particular topic. Um, before I go, be sure to look at my brother Josiah's World TV. Um, I shared the link to his video that he did tonight on my community page. He did a whole video about the baby and Ti. Be sure to. Um, go and watch that and support my brother. Uh, be sure to like, rate, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Do whatever you see fit. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and IG. It will be in the description box if you are interested. With that being said, you guys, I'm out of here until my next video. I'll talk to you later. Peace out. We can always find our way to a fun moment, even in the shady bunch.